folks, I think we've done it again. Massive mega constructs holes are the staple of my channel. And yeah, we, we, we got we got a we got a really big one. <laughs> so hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. To give you a quick little bit of backstory to this one, I found this on Facebook Marketplace listed as a Halo Mega Block. It was an interesting listing because it seemed like everything was complete, um, which is a great deal. Pretty reasonable price. Uh, the funny thing was, I messaged him at first and he said he had a couple of sets. Like he only listed two sets. And then I messaged him and said, do you have anything else? And he was like, well, for a hundred and something pounds, I can give you a scarab and a few other things. And I was like, oh, um, I'll take that. And then uh, he sent me a picture and it was a locus. But anyway, I found a really good combined price for everything. And I'm going to show you what I've got today. The only bad part about this haul is uh, after we uh, decided that we were going to do it and I booked my train tickets to go and meet him, I was uh, on the way, I think, or maybe I was uh, about to leave. And he was like, me and my wife have broke each set down into pieces and put them into individual bags. Why? All right, so the big bags there. And this beautiful Converse box. I got some brand new shoes. Candy tubs. All the instruction manuals you could ever desire. Oh, oh sneak peek. Oh. Two more really big bags. Another big shoe box. Ah, oh, you love to see it. You just love to see it. So, uh, where, where do I begin? Okay, okay. Open sesame. Now, the exciting thing about this is every one of these bags contains a sealed set, which you don't usually get. And not only that, they have stickers on saying 100% complete, which if that's the case, wow, you'll be sa saving me a lot of pain. First of all, a 100% complete Banshee. This is not the first Banshee. Uh, this is the first standalone Banshee. The first ever Banshee came with the Aerial Ambush. I sent some previews of these images to some of my friends. They were particularly interested in a 100% complete Gremlin. You don't usually see that. You don't usually see 100% complete ever. So this is very exciting. And uh, yeah, they do have the figures inside the bags, which is nice. What else is 100% complete? How about a red troop transport hog? 100% complete. Complete. Ha! Is yes. <laughs> Wait. Well, yes. Ah. If people remembered, I bought a uh, UNSC Rocket Hog sealed, and it had like nothing inside. It was empty, practically empty. I did get a 100% complete sealed Wolverine, which is nice, Arctic Wolverine, wherever that's gone. But this Arctic Warthog was unfortunately, uh, yeah, complete dud. I just had some stickers and some empty boxes inside. But now we got it. Yeah, that's actually a big win. That's a big win, boys. Yes, last one in this box is a 100% complete. Can you tell me what it is just by looking at it? It's a spade. 100% complete spade with a grenadier, yes. There is our George, the first ever George that appeared in a mega construct. So that's really nice. And they'll be able to be built pretty much instantly. I think uh, the same is not gonna be said about a lot of these though. Um, oh, we got an assault rifle on the top of this. What's in this one? In this Barrett's top, we've got, yes, uh, the, that was the preview. Uh, these are classic pieces from the elephant. So that is an elephant, and I know there's more pieces for the elephant somewhere. Yeah, okay. So they are two tubs with elephant pieces, a broken apart elephant. And oh, there he is, the Black Recon. Gorgeous. And a lot of people uh, would classify, particularly Jang Bricks, they would say that the elephant is the very first signature set, which I would agree with. They are so nice together, uh, different skin tones, different armors, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm sure the mongoose, the black mongoose is probably in there too. Okay, we've got an elephant in this bag. A lot more green pieces. I wonder if you can tell what these are. No, this is just more elephant. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely just more elephant. So it must, I mean, the pictures. So when I bought this originally, the elephant was one of them. And so was a pelican, spoilers. Uh, he was selling an elephant and a pelican. I purchased those and then I said, do you have anything else? And he bundled everything else together. One of my main tips and tricks of the trade, anytime you buy something off eBay or Facebook Marketplace, immediately ask if they have anything else. Because usually they do. This bag right here, I believe must be pelican pieces. 
I hope the pelican and the elephant aren't mixed together. Then we got this. <laughs> can you can you see what that is? Uh, that's that's definitely characteristic of the short sword. All right, now this is where it gets a bit complicated. This is like what I didn't want because I don't want to be just messing around with spare pieces. We've got a original shade turret. There's so much stuff in there. I imagine a complete short sword is in there for sure. There's pieces from a chopper. There's some desert pieces which could either be a scorpion or EVA's last stand. Okay. That's not amazing uh, because we don't want to be building like crazy. And then we have another bag here. Ah, ah, my sweet baby, my sweet baby. Ah, the Arctic drop pod. And he's got his original colored battle rifle. That's Avery, man. Like that was the mascot of our channel, the Arctic uh, ODST from the drop pod. So beautiful to see that with the backpack as well. And then here we have the Covenant Scarab. <laughs> Wait, the, the, the Covenant Scarab. <laughs> Not a scarab, not a scarab, it's a, it's a locust. Ah, um, um, this might be from the red troop transport. Ah, uh, there's another warthog in there. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is the gauss hog. Uh, yeah, gauss hog versus locust. I think there might be, yeah. There's both kinds of locusts in there. The locusts came out uh, in quick succession. It was the Gauss hog versus locusts, and then there was uh, another kind of locust set. Ah, ah, that's what the uh, desert pieces were from, the Prowler. Not bad, not bad. Oh, no, no, they, we do have EVA's last stand. <laughs> we do after all. Okay, we have EVA's last stand, the Gauss hog, two locusts, and a Prowler in there. But I did see other pieces of the Prowler in the big bag, so I think it's all jumbled, unfortunately. Let's put that away for a second. That Pelican is gonna be such a nightmare to build ay, ay, ay. okay we got one more box one more box and we're home safe what do we have in here oh yeah all right ha <laughs> ha yeah so uh, like i said i got a sealed arctic warthog and arctic wolverine i guess we got another one at least we got a pair of hunters now uh this is an arctic wolverine it doesn't say 100 complete on it so I don't know, maybe they didn't have time to check the piece count necessarily. So we got an Arctic Wolverine. Here's where things get interesting. We've got, ah, yes, a Covenant Drop Pod, one of the originals. Got gorgeous battle damage on there with a gold elite. Colored Needler, yeah, very nice. A lot of purple. I see the revised shade turret. But what else is in there? Huh. Um, could be parts of a wraith. Kind of missed the ball a bit here. But here's, here's something cool. In these bags, we have original series blind bag figures, series two blind bag figures, series three, series four. I think missing the ultra rares. Yeah, okay, so um, we do have a lot. We have the pink Hayabusa in series two, alongside purple Spartan, purple Brute. Uh, well, the, the important ones are the Copper Elite and the pink Hayabusa. In series three, we've got an almost complete collection there. It might actually be a complete collection. Yay, we have the AC Elite. Yeah, nice. AC Elite, uh, Brutes, Grunts. I think that might be the complete collection. And Series 4, uh, we got the nice UNSC Marine, Arctic Pilot, um, all sorts. And the last bag, which of course you know me, I would say the best to last. It's just a gorgeous bag of figures. Just a gorgeous bag of figures. We've got a blue Hunter, a few ODSTs, a yellow Hayabusa, that's from the Pelican, some Jackals from the Short Sword, orange Hayabusa, right. So if we had the orange Hayabusa, we probably have the Wraith. Ah, uh, yes, there's the Elite from the Wraith. It's actually one of my favorite old articulation figures, this Elite, it's really nice. So we have the Elite and the Hayabusa from, uh, from the, uh, the Wraith. Let's see if we got everything based on our instruction manual. The UNSC Gremlin, UNSC Warthog, Spade, Shade, no, Spade Turret. I I didn't see the uh, skirmisher, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. ODST ambush, red troop transport hog, original banshee, covenant drop pod, arctic wolverine, join the blocks brigade, covenant wraith, brute prowler, lots of stickers, the arctic hog, brute chopper, shade turret, <laughs> short sword, EVA's last stand, arctic hog, gauss hog versus locust, and the crowning, crown, crown jewels. We got a pelican and an elephant. Beautiful haul uh, for beautiful people. <laughs> um, yeah, so the first, like, 
maybe like 10 sets will be easy to make. And then we've got a bit of a challenge with the elephant and the pelican. I think because of the state of those buckets and bags, I think I probably may as well find the smaller sets in there, find the instruction manuals, then just pick out all the pieces individually and then just build it quickly. And that's probably the best way of doing it. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Rate my haul out of 10. It's quite an exceptional one to be fair. And one more shout out to Spartan Dagger and Chunky Chief, my top patrons. You guys are the absolute bomb. And if I've received another top patron after this video has been, uh, well, from filming it to releasing it, uh, I might receive another patron. So if I didn't mention your name, apologies. But if you head on over to patreon.com, you'll get a load of shout outs in my videos and a bonus video at the beginning of every month, the first week of every month, where I basically just go through my life, updates on the channel, updates on video projects, so you know what's coming out of the next month. It's gonna be worth your while. So uh, as always, you know, stay, stay safe out there. And the massive haul cannot even put it in my hands. Hey, yes. <laughs> uh, the massive haul is signing off. <laughs>